Howdy, students. Uh, today we're going to talk about deriving the first two kinematic equations. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, so the first one, uh, first of all, I want you to note that, and I'm going to try to write a little bit more clearly here, uh, x minus x naught is delta x. Um, so anytime you see x minus x naught, know we're talking about delta x, which is uh, going to be the displacement. Um, sometimes written as distance, if we're only talking one direction, and it's not negative. Um, so equation number one, uh, we have already derived, is V equals A T plus V naught. Um, a little bit different than the ones we learned, talked about in class, but we're going to talk about here so that we can derive the other ones. So uh, where does this come from? And it comes from... Uh, the equation of a line um, and it's useful when you don't have oops, uh, when you don't have or need the uh, displacement So if you're only looking for velocities, you're only looking for accelerations, you're only looking for time, then you can use this equation. Uh, so let's talk about where it came from. Um, it came from uh, our velocity time graph. If this is our V, or our final velocity, and this is maybe our starting velocity, initial velocity, uh, and we have constant acceleration. So again, constant acceleration is going to look like a nice line. Um, we know if it's a nice line, we can use uh, the equation of a line. So our y equals mx plus b. Uh, uh, so we have uh, y, which is our v, uh, equals our m. Remember, m is the slope. And if it's the uh, slope of velocity over time, that is our acceleration uh, over uh, uh, x, which in this case is t. And then plus b, which is our y-intercept, which is just plus v naught, uh, just our starting velocity. Um, and I'll just write these out just so you can see it. Velocity equals excel that's acceleration times time plus the uh, initial velocity so that's the first guy um, and uh, the second equation is going to come from the same sort of graph but we're going to go kind of in the opposite direction remember uh, slope uh, is uh, uh, in a velocity time graph is our acceleration, but displacement is the area underneath this guy. So let's let's exploit that uh, to get another equation. So equation two is delta x equals uh, v naught t, and this could also be remember remember be written as x equals x naught plus v naught t. Uh, and it's v naught t plus one half a t squared. And we're going to talk about where to get uh, use it, and it comes from uh, again the uh, area under the curve, as you can see over here area under the curve uh, of a v t velocity time graph. When is it useful? It's useful when you don't have um, and don't need final velocity. Have or need 
final velocity or a velocity at any given time. And then, um, so we're going to maybe talk about this um, later because this uh, requires linearization. So we're going to come back to this. Uh, but we can talk about the uh, linearization. We'll come back to that. We're going to go, we're going to do these first two. I'm going to talk about over here um, how we get this. Uh, how do we go from this to this? Uh, but in order to do the other equations, we need to be able to linearize. We're not going to talk about it just yet. But let's talk about uh, this. So we, we learned, uh, we came up with the idea that displacement um, is the area under the curve for a VT graph. So I'm just going to write out area under curve. And the area under this can be broken up into two uh, different sections here. We have a rectangular section and a triangular section. So uh, remember displacement equals area under the curve. So delta x displacement equals, we'll do this one first. Uh, so it's just the uh, base times height uh, for the area of a rectangle. Uh, the base is t, the height is v naught. Um, so we have um, v naught times t. And then we need to add in um, the area of the triangle. So remember the area of the triangle is one half the uh, base uh, times uh, the height again. Uh, so again, uh, we're going to do base, base times height, one half base times height. So here, the height is actually, so we have, we really just use V naught, but it was really V naught minus zero. Uh, the height here is V minus V naught. That's just the, the height of this. The, the difference between V and V naught is this line segment over here. And then uh, we have the, uh, the base here, which is just T. Well, that's not super duper useful. Um, we can uh, use other things to make it even better. Um, so we came up with in the uh, last um, uh, equation that V equals uh, uh, V equals V naught plus a t. Uh, so we can solve and get v minus v naught um, here. v minus v naught, I'm going to show you why we did that, uh, equals a t. Now we have this v minus v naught equals a t, again from equation one. We can plug that in here and we get delta x equals v naught t plus one half a t times t or our familiar equation delta x equals v naught t plus one half a t squared uh, which is this guy right up here and that's all the ones that we're going to talk about right now uh, we'll get more into we're going to talk about linearization and then we will get into uh, the next three equations. Uh, but until then, uh, you can look at my baby. So you'll note uh, she is over one month old. Um, uh, the One of the best things about being a dad is taking pictures and adding filters um, to uh, maybe uh, embarrass her with in the future. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and it was helpful. Have a great one.